Right, dental health care. Really very important aspect of preventative health care for our pets um, and particularly our cats. The, uh, what we need to do is we need to regularly look into our cat's mouths and make sure that their teeth are okay. Now Ricky here is um, going to just show off his smile and the way to do it is just look at the teeth at the front, make sure he's feeling nice and comfortable um, and that he's, he's up against your body and then you look at the teeth at the front and then you can lift up the lips at the side and you can see the teeth right to the very back on that side and Ricky let me have a look on this side on that side as well. Now, as Ricky, now Ricky's teeth actually don't look too bad but it is very important if you can to, um, to try and keep those teeth as clean as possible and one of the ways of doing that is to brush their teeth. Now we have a couple of options and um, the toothpaste that we tend to use is a, um, is a flavoured toothpaste. Now this toothpaste is actually fish flavoured, cats tend to quite like it um, and it doesn't have a foaming agent in it either so they're not going to get foaming, um, foaming mouths once you've used it. Um, and you can either use a toothbrush here, you've got um, this, this is a double ended toothbrush, you've got the small end at this end which is probably the most useful end for cats. Um, sometimes they'll let you put the larger end in as well but um, as an alternative but it's normally best just to use this, um, this small end and the benefit of this is actually you can keep uh, well away from their mouth as well if, um, if they're <laughs> reluctant to let you do it um, and in addition we've got this little finger brush that you can use that um, some cats will let you tolerate that um, a little bit of toothpaste on the finger brush and then you can just brush the teeth at the side um, on both sides now I'll show you with Ricky how is, how we're going to do this. So you get the toothpaste, put a little bit of toothpaste onto the brush. Most important thing as I've said is to make him feel nice and comfortable. So if you just have a look at the front and you can just gently rub his teeth at the front. And when he starts to feel the flavour, he actually quite likes it. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's not too bad. Right. So that's brushing the teeth at the front. Once we've once we've cleaned the teeth at the front, you want to get the teeth at the side. A little brush there. One will go with the brush, but we might need to try the little finger brush. I'll try the finger brush. So what we can do with this one, so a little bit of toothpaste on the brush, a little bit of toothpaste on the brush, and then just rubbing on the side there. And then we just try brushing the teeth on that side as well. Now you can see that um, Ricky's a little bit reluctant to have it done, but if you persevere and if you do that on, on a regular basis, then they tend to get used to it. The most important thing is not to really struggle with them. Don't make it a frightening experience for them. Make it as, um, as relaxing for them as possible. You can see here Ricky doesn't really mind it too much. I think he's probably starting to, to, um, to get the flavour of the toothpaste, the, uh, the fish flavour toothpaste now. But the most important thing about looking after your, your cat's teeth is to actually keep an eye on them and to look at them on a regular basis. And that's when you're pulling the lips back and having a look at the teeth and just checking them to see if there's any plaque buildup or if there's any um, redness on the gums. And you can see there that actually Ricky's teeth are pretty good. I've got a model here that shows a, um, a jaw, upper and lower jaw from a cat. And you can see these teeth are absolutely tiny, but it's very important that you try. Can we go, Ricky? Stay there. It's very important that you try, if you can, to have a look at all the teeth, all the way to the back. So you've got the three molar, the three um, premolar and molar teeth at the bottom, and the canines at the front, and the incisors right at the very front there. And you can see that in Ricky's mouth when we open his mouth. You can see the canine there, which looks nice and clean, and certainly. As we've brushed, given a little bit of a brush, that's helped a little bit. And then you can see the premolars and molars at the back there. So you can see that it is, it's certainly worthwhile keeping an eye on the cat's teeth. Um, and with a little bit of perseverance, then you can get the teeth brushed as well.